Appalachian Wireless makes it easy and affordable to tech the halls. Extended through Christmas Eve. Get an iPhone 13, 128 gig for only a penny with trade-in. On a two-year contract, on the mix and match, or unlimited plan. Plus, no activation fee. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. On Thursday, November 30th, Kentucky State Police Post 9 paid a visit to the Pikeville Food City as part of their annual Cram the Cruiser food drive. Shoppers at Food City can directly donate their in-store purchases to local food banks through KSP. Public Affairs Officer Michael Coleman emphasizes the importance of giving back to the community during the holiday season. We're here today for our annual Cram the Cruiser event. Cram the Cruiser is actually a two week long uh, event, but we have a one day signature event where we come out and we interact with the community and take up donations. Uh, today we're at the Pikeville Food City. Uh, we'll be here till about two or three today. And we're just asking if you're out, come down, uh, make a donation of a non-perishable food item, or if you'd like to donate money, we'll give that to the food banks also. Uh, the, all the donations go to a local food bank, so that we make sure that all of those donations, all the money is used right here in our community. It's not spread out across the state. It's actually going to go to people here in our community that need it. And we realize that, you know, uh, sometimes times are hard and, and money's tight, and especially around the holidays. Uh, so we try to do this every year just to make sure that get a little extra help uh, for people who need it to make sure that they have a good holiday meal this year. All of the food donated will be used locally rather than going somewhere else. KSP encourages anyone able to donate to help give someone a better Christmas. A lot of times, you know, you donate to something and you don't really know where it goes. Uh, you know, if it may be spread out across the United States or across the state or whatever. But we know here that this food and the money donated today is going to go right back into our community. It's going to go to people here in our community that need it. It's all about just getting out of the community and, and building those relations and talking to our community and seeing what they need and, and how we can help them. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.